Hi everyone, Omri at PC Gamer here, and I'd like to talk about one of the most iconic items from the Thief series, water arrows. Not only are they a quintessential part of Garrett's arsenal, they're also a critical component of what makes Thief such a pioneering influence in the stealth genre. So, like in most stealth games, Thief embraces the system of a safe boundary between light and shadow. These boundaries aren't stable or secure, and you'll eventually always have to risk exposure to get back into safety. Water arrows for Thief are the key. Their most obvious application, of course, is extinguishing light sources such as torches and fireplaces for a little extra breathing room whenever you move around. With a well-placed shot, you can turn a dangerously lit area into a shadowy refuge where guards and the treasures they protect are all at your mercy. Gaining an advantage isn't without trade-offs. Your quiver carries only so many arrows, and most levels are absolutely peppered with lighting sources. You have to be pretty selective of determining what to soak and what to keep on. In other words, water arrows aren't an end-all solution for turning light into a mundane obstacle or something, but rather a tool used at the right time. Uh, sure, dousing a torch with an arrow has the luxury of range, but being able to actually make that shot often sticks you out into the open or in a lit area. Even for a fleeting moment, that's pretty dangerous. Some types of lighting are even immune. Street lamps, lanterns, or those weird magic orb things that are everywhere in the city. Thief 4, or Thief, or Thief 4F, or whatever the upcoming reboot from Eidos is being called nowadays, which we talk all about on the preview on our website, by the way, tosses in a little bit extra practicality to killing smaller lights like uh, candles by allowing you to pinch them off with your fingers. You might have seen that in the teaser trailer released earlier on. I'd rather personally shoot them with an arrow tipped with crystallized water myself. The water arrows and the rest of Garrett's utility arrows really touch upon the fusion of mysticism and technology that the Thief games pull off so well. There are other creative uses for water arrows too. They wash away blood puddles left by slain enemies, really helping in hiding any evidence of your presence. In Thief 2, the normally hardy mechanist robots can be shut down with one or two arrows into their rear boiler grills. They also handily dispatch tricky foes such as zombies and fire elementals who are normally immune to your attacks until you hit them with water. These are all really solid instances of Thief's awesome steampunk theme, providing another clever solution for the player. And in Thief 3, the updated engine caused shadows to move dynamically based on light flickers, which makes dousing them even more important if you want to stay hidden. Water arrows really feel like an essential part of a burglar's toolkit. One a veteran would never leave home without, no matter what kind of mission takes place. More than lockpicks, smoke bombs, or other crafty items, they embody Garrett's mastery of his craft and his reputation as the city's most successful thief. Thanks for listening. We have plenty more videos like this and more in store for you, so hit that subscribe button to keep up with all our latest stuff. I'd love to hear from you on what you think about water arrows or the rest of Thief's gadgets, so be sure to drop a word in the comments. Thanks.